everybody. Welcome back to Justice Craft. I've been grinding a little bit off camera. Quark is now a Luxray. Cheez-Its is getting closer to closer to being a torpedo. And SVG has found a Zubat. Yay! Um, and off camera, I have worked out what I want on my team. It's not too balanced, but it's definitely something I've never done before. And I think it will be very interesting. Um, but right now, I was talking about getting a Crobat. I am going to get this Zubat right now because it just happened to walk right in front of me. Literally. It just flew right in front of me. Um, and then we're going to find Ghost and give him Scald so he can actually have an attacking move that doesn't suck. Yes, and while I was off camera, I also noticed that my uh, nature on Cheez-Its is not exactly the best. I have a 15 defense. <laughs> kind of a glass cannon. But at least a booster attack. Yeah, I have an amazing 67 attack for a level 27. So, we have a slight issue. Kind of forgot I put in my ender chest. Bravo, sir. Yep. Alright, um, but... Okay, so... Now that we have all this, I've come to the conclusion I still want my Litwick, but I need to catch a new Litwick because it moves out on a crucial, crucial, um fire type move that I need. So I need to find another that's 20 or lower, and I also need to find a Rognarola because I think he'd be pretty interesting to have on my team. So yeah. Crunch! Upgrade. Let's get rid of Rage. So now I need to find an Ender Chest of this. Is there an Ender Chest in that hotel in the middle of nowhere? Uh, yes. There's an open door in the very inside corner of the L you can get into. Yes. Oh yeah, with Crunch now, I'm starting to eat these guys alive. I mean, admittedly, I am fighting Ghastlies, but doing a lot better. Okay, except that I have Scald now. Yay! Now Cheez-Its won't have a completely, totally useless moveset. Oh sweet, my Zubat evolves in the next level. Cheez-Its, come here. Alright, let's get rid of Bite. So now Cheez-Its has the Swagger, <laughs> Scald, Crunch, and Ice Fang. Is Scald special or physical? Uh, special. Okay, not ideal, but it's still pretty good. It's coverage. Yeah. Plus the burn is nice. And then... Who else had Swagger? The whole team has some Swagger. <laughs> ah, yes, Quark picked up Swagger. So, lots of Swagger. I'm going to leave out my Zubat just so it can get happiness. I need a... Uh, what was the item? For Crobat, nothing. Soothe Bell? Yeah, uh, I think it's Soothe Bell. Yeah, I think that sounds right. I always get Shell Bell and the Soothe Bell mixed up. I oh. think Shell Bell is like a week or leftovers. I should know this. I've been playing this game for like... I keep saying 18 years, but the game didn't come out in America until 98. Yeah, I remember having it out that uh, having it the first year it came out, so... Mainly there was a large region of time in there where I didn't play many of them. Yeah. You need to teach me how to parkour out of this house. Oh, the spawn Same. one? There's a little, yeah. like, half lip at the top of the very thing. Okay. I'll you jump that onto one. that, you jump on the ledge, and you just find any other way down. Oh, and cheese it's evolving! Yay! Goodbye, little Carvana. Hello, Sharpedo. Also... Kind of a little bit of a spoiler for uh, upcoming updates. I don't know when you guys will see this, but and I don't remember if I mentioned this. But at some point, you know how in X and Y, when you catch a Pokemon, you get experience? Out of everything out of X and Y, it was the thing that Mr. M liked the most, so you can expect to see that soon. And I don't care if I give that away as a spoiler, because it's not too groundbreaking. So look forward to that, or not look forward to it. Wait, what did you say? I don't know. When you catch a Pokemon next and why you get experience for it, and Mr. M wants to add that. Oh, yeah. That's not a huge, terribly breaking thing, but it's also nice. Yeah. I'm like a you're tank. A lot. You're invisible. <laughs> invisible Matang. Mm hmm. Oh, I love uh, how we I'm... never managed to get that right. Yay for wild apricorn loot. Yeah, none of my moves like do anything to him except for bug by it. Yeah, Skull does actually a decent amount of damage. What's your uh, special? He's, uh, I think 47 special, 69 attacks. I mean, he's not terribly behind. 
That was better than your defense. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, here's your stats after evolution. 97 attack, 28 defense, 66 special, 31 special defense, and 65 speed. He is, by <laughs> definition, the classic glass cannon. Yeah. 100%, no doubt about it. So he's terrible for switching into things, unless I can switch into a psychic move. Okay, so... I'm not used to seeing wild Pokemon fighting each other. It's so weird looking. I'm not used to... Um... Techni models getting blasted in my face. <laughs> God, they look bad. And here comes the blasted comments of, Well, it's your job to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of models. It takes a lot of time to make each one. Oh, yeah. Especially with the new rigging system and stuff that all has to be done. Well, once you know how to rig, uh, it's actually fairly easy. Ironically, I don't know how to rig. I will in the summer, though. Okay, I don't know if it's the server lagging, but, like, I throw out a Pokemon and it's, like, ten minutes later when it comes out. I think it's the server. Okay. Hey, a Geodude! Perfect, I can have a test case on Scald. Oh, yeah. Scald kills things. I just think I'm screwed on that water gym. I need to get Quark way higher. Ugh! I really wish when wild Pokemon fought you, it actually fought with the Pokemon that you have selected, not the Pokemon that's your first. I'm actually glad it, it's like that, because then you don't get screwed over when you're EV training. Yeah, you can block it a little bit that way. It's just annoying sometimes, because it's like, I don't want to level up Burnt Chicken, I want to grind, you know, whoever is in my fifth slot. Yeah, sometimes it's pretty annoying, but, um... Now the news, Zubat's finally evolving into a Gobat, so another level, and hopefully I can turn it into a Crobat almost instantly. Well, you need 220 happiness. Good luck getting that. Yeah, no, I could just sit off AFK at the server and have my Golbat sitting out. True. Granted, Although, do you want perfect. to evolve to a Crobat? Do you, do you skip a lot of move sets by doing so? Nope. I actually double-checked. They learn the same exact moves. It only gets hindered by one move by learning it, like, five levels later, but I don't care that much. Okay, so that's actually not too bad. An interesting one is yeah. the Clink Clang line. Every one of its evolutions the always lose or always learns the the move at the exact same level, regardless of what form it is. That's actually pretty cool. And there goes my window of opportunity to level or not level up to find a uh, Footwick. Oh, Sableye. Oh, cool. Twenty two, if you want it. Nah, I told the story behind that, right? No. Oh. He was only created because I won Wind Waker HD. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> it's the only reason why he exists, because uh, Izzy, he's um, the owner of Pixelmon Gaming, if you guys aren't aware of, uh, he wanted Sableye, and I said, what am I going to get out of it if I make it right then and there? I was like, what do you want? I was like, I want Wind Waker HD, because I was coming out in about a month. He's like, okay. And then I made it and got Wind Waker. <laughs> and that's the story of Sableye. Yeah, um, I actually got So if you want a... your favorite Pokemon in, send SPG games and... <laughs> <laughs> it has to be games I like. It can't just be any random games. <laughs> because if it was any random games, you can send me like $2 games on Steam and then get a Pokemon. Theoretically. You heard it here. You just said it. <laughs> I said theoretically. <laughs> <laughs> Don't don't actually do that, please. You know what I have not seen yet at all on this server? A bus. Uh, oh yeah. Well, no, no, I saw no. I saw one. Yeah. But not today. Red rule is. Uh, only I don't want to fight you, Drapion. I don't think I have anything that can actually kill a Drapion. Well, if it keeps using own claws, what? Did you make Ragnarola only spawn in uh, uh, Extreme Hills, or did you make them also spawn in Deserts? Uh, Extreme Hills. Okay. What about Underground? Uh, he will show up Underground. Okay. Now I just have to find a location that's actually Underground on the server. Good luck. 
I know. <laughs> uh, this is so frustrating. I can't kill this Drapion. Anytime I throw out a Pokemon that's actually good against it, it uses Fire Fang. When it doesn't, it just sits there and hones claws. There we go. Finally, I'm dead. I hate these high levels and they challenge me. I have found the 6th gen. Through magic. Well, that's a little bit far. What's the levels on it if you're near it anyway? Oh, I found the sign saying go here to the 6th gym. I didn't actually oh, well, go to it. Bravo. So, general location. Clarity. A little bit of clarity helps. I'm tempted to go search Ooh. over in the jungle for a Mew or something, but... I don't have I that much free time. That. Yeah, especially because it's got the notifications turned off. <laughs> Not that they help with Mews. Mew is spawned in jungle. Well, there's 47 square miles of jungle around me, and now I have to look for a little pink thing somewhere among the trees. Yeah. Who? Okay, so story with Mew. Um, I was playing on Pixel League. This was actually recorded. Um, and we were searching for Mew with uh, OMG Chad and uh, Dyerdorf. Yeah, you have no idea who those are. Point is... Um, and you spawned, and we started going after him. Dyerdorf found him. He sent him to Moltres, and apparently I walked right by it. So even if there's, like, some giant fire bird, it's still next to impossible to find anything in a jungle. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And now I'm in the jungle town, and I have I no really need to pick fights with Pokemon I actually can kill. I need to explore areas on where the heck the freaking... Um, Pokemon I'm trying to search for. What level and does again, uh, everything... Blaziken evolve at? 36? 30, yeah, 36. Okay, I was going to say, I'm a 34 and I have yet to have the evolution happen. Yeah, uh, some Pokemon are 32. Like, starters are all over the place. Honestly, I'd prefer if they stuck it with like 30, uh, 16, 36 across the board. That would that have been a lot more, uh, or less confusing for people. But, you know. Wait, whatever. what now? 1336? You mean 1632? Yeah, I'm sorry. I was like, 1336 has a pattern I'm... that's more confusing than the regular ones. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired. And Totodile and... being the weird one-off that's always earlier. Yeah, holy crap, Killer's a leader on the server. That's not gonna end well in my favor. <laughs> um, let's just say I've banned him several times on the Pixelmon forms. Bravo. Several times. <laughs> Just hope he's not he's not aware that I'm playing on here. <laughs> well, it does seem like there's multiple different other gym leaders, so. Yeah. Is Hydra still on? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I don't think we're gonna do the third gym today. Yeah. Ow! Well, I'm not really gonna level up Quark at any time anytime soon. Jeez. Anyways, Ooh, um... Aqua Jet. Ooh, Aqua Jet versus Scald really is worse in every way. Crap. One second. Yeah, let's get rid of Scald. Or, get, sorry, Aqua Jet. Let's keep Scald. And now to go heal right. again, because I can't actually fight with any of the Pokemon I want to level. Alright, so where is the, um... Where'd you say you can exit out of the spawn area? Real easily. Okay, you're up on top of the tower. Correct? Never mind, I found it. <laughs> yeah, you get up on top of the little half block and you just pretty much just jump off, and there's trees and stuff you can land on. Yeah. It's way easier than finding your way through that maze of a twisty tunnel y thing. Hell yeah. You know, I'm leveling up Cheez Its a lot more than I'm I leveling up Quark now. Oh, no, I didn't. You know what I can be doing? Hmm. Also, it's definitely the starter time that's lagging me, I don't know why. Um, let's see here. I need to go to the forest. What is Quark's speed? 53. Not a very good speed for Quark. Ooh, happiness of 70. That is amazing. You're slowly getting gonna... there. Yeah, slowly. It hasn't changed at all. Oh. <laughs> what if we screwed that up? 
Yeah, I wonder if we did do that or if it truly is just if it truly just does take forever. I don't know how many ticks it is for one. I haven't touched that code in forever. Ooh, Pidgeotos are actually going to be nice and profitable if I see more of them. Hello, Golbat. Are you a boss? No, you're not. Your health bar was just clipping through Get the trees. Get all that trees. sweet, sweet feather loot. Oh yeah, we need to kill those to get monies. Mm -hmm. I would love an EXP share. That's what I'm saving up for. I just don't know if you yeah. can actually buy one. I think it's uh, just that lottery. I was about to ask, do you know how much that is? Probably easier to find a boss cheap. Probably. And I've... Never mind. Oh, this, it's so nice having a water move that's reliable on uh, Cheez-Its, though. What was the one before it? Uh, it only had Ice Fang and Bite and Rage. Uh. Which kind of didn't work very well for killing things. Where is the forest on this server? I think this is it. I, I kind of just wander around and find stuff. <laughs> no, nope, this is still Extreme Hills. It just has birch trees. Thank you for confusion. Really? Extreme Hills with birch trees? I'm pretty sure they put them here. I was going to say. Yeah. This is definitely making my search for the forest biome a lot harder. And I know I've passed through one. I think it's near the ice town. There's the plains. This is an onyx. Wow, level 42. Let's see if I can get some levels off of it. Probably not, though, because it's probably going to insta-kill me. Where's the hitbox on it? There it is. Dude, Onyx needs a new model, and I keep putting off the... I don't know, the Onyx model looks fine. It's not terrible. Mm, his head's screwed up. It's pretty stupid. There are other Maybe... ones I would put higher up on the list of ones to do. Yeah. He, he He's pretty hard-headed, I'm not going to lie. These are the jokes, <laughs> folks. They're not very good, but you're going to laugh anyway. Ooh, now we're talking Thunderfang on Quark. Oh, that's how they got the savannah. Hmm. It's labeled as desert. Ah. Yeah. Wait, you have a savannah? How yeah. about you? Here. I, no, I already... Yeah, I forgot we have the slashback command. I want to see savannah. Oh, we, that's we cool. We walked past it, remember? Oh, this was the giant tree thing. Yeah, now I remember. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Except all those new biomes are going to totally wreck the spawning system again until I fix it. Again? Oh, yeah. One point well, it's because it's, it's cause Forge has a two-tag system to describe a biome, and they don't use the tags. They need a three-tag system. They need an <laughs> elevation, a temperature, and a foliage a temperature? Yeah. Because you'd need, like, savanna would be different than grassland, because savanna would be a hot temperature versus a normal temperature. Huh. Because, I mean, they're going to group biomes by temperature now, too. This is going to be interesting. And the pain in the and neck. And now I'm completely lost, that... and there's no more spawns around me. Oh, wait, slash back. Yeah, that's... I'm not so not used to having slash back. Let's certainly turn night so I can start looking for my Rognarola or my Litwick. Alright, I'm pretty certain, considering, what was that, a level 22 star you, that a 36 Luxray should be able to kill it. Yeah, what level is your cheese? its 34. Yeah, you can take it out with that and just use a dark move. Well, assuming, Free feathers. assuming I hit first. Remember, I can't yeah. take a hit. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, sweet. Found a level 2 Ragnarola. That means I literally cannot attack it. Also means it's going to be a bitch to level up. Yeah, not really. They level up pretty quick. Just need to switch levels. I should probably up. get the dive balls out of my ender chest. Dive balls? When did you get dive balls? Oh, never mind. Yeah. Because you beat the gym. Mm -hmm. I'll get around to that gym. And I now have a Ragnarola on my team. Alright, level 19 Diego. That should get Spark a few levels. Thunderfang. Pidgeotto died. Pidgey. Oh, what the Pidgey fuck? died. 
Three deaths, four uh, deaths. Oh, these are lights. Herder. I want to see one of those glitch trainers where they actually have more Pokemon than they should. Fun fact, there's only one trainer in existence to have more than six Pokemon in any Pokemon game. Wait, there really is one? Yeah. In um, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, the final boss has seven Pokemon. How the hell does that work? He has Shadow Lugia, and then you start another battle with six Shadow Pokemon. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Yeah. Well, I guess it's a two different battles, so it doesn't break. Yeah, but it, it happens. Like, there's no break in between them. You start instantly, and you have, you can't heal or anything, so it's still technically one battle, depending on how you look at it. Yeah, true, true, true. But yeah, that guy's hard. He's got four legendaries and then three other Pokemon that are just good in general. And they're all Shadow. Yeah. Do you have, so, so I've never played the game. Do you actually yeah. end up getting Shadow yourself, or is it just everybody who has Shadow is just super effective against you all the time? Um, you can get Shadow Pokemon. The point of the game is to catch every single Shadow Pokemon, um, and then you have to purify them to make them normal. Which you'd want to do, why? Because they become less effective? Because you can't level them up. Oh. And most of your team comes from Shadow Pokemon. Colosseum, your entire team comes from Shadow Pokemon, but in Colosseum, er, not Colosseum. Next, did I say XD? All your. I'm confusing you, myself. You can tell me whatever game you want, and I'll just <laughs> go nod my head and go, yep, mm -hmm, sure. <laughs> I'm confusing myself. I'm too damn tired for this. Um, in XD, you can get normal Pokemon that aren't Shadow. Because you have like these uh, pokey spots where you put down bait or whatever, and then they just randomly appear. But in Coliseum, everything you get is shadow. And with that, remember to recount favorite and subscribe. We shall see you guys in the next episode. So yep, see when I challenge the gym. Hooray! Yay! Later.